What's going on, guys? Um, just wanted to make a video that um, focuses on some games I found at a yard sale today. Uh, it's, it was at a community yard sale. Um, was not advertised. Just randomly stumbled upon this. And um, what else? Um, it was it, it just. By walking up to it, you would not have expected video games to be there. Um, the people that were hosting the, the particular sale where I found these at, they um, look like they had, were in their maybe late 60s, early 70s. They had a lot of furniture in their driveway. And um, <clears throat> you would not have guessed... Um, a stack of Dreamcast games would be just randomly sitting there. Um, the guy started to talk to me when I kind of honed in on looking at the games. Um, he acted like um, I would have been too young to have known what Dreamcast was, even though I'm in my 30s. And um, he had a little sign on the front of the the games like uh on the table that said um the, the little piece of paper said tapes it said tapes one dollar so it probably was like the wife that probably put the sign up but the, the husband knew a little bit more and i'm sure it was probably their kids um who probably are a bit older than me but still would have been young enough to have bought these uh, especially in like 99, 2000, 2001. Um, so anyway, the games I, I got here, there's about 11 of them. I was just floored when I saw the very the ter the very top game um, that was on the stack. I kind of have them in a, in a position now where I have the better ones on the bottom and uh, the lesser ones on the top. So I'll, I'll let you know which one was on the very top of the stack that really kind of like made my eyes, <laughs> um, eyes shoot open when I when I saw the uh, obviously when I saw the Dreamcast symbols I got excited but when I saw this game on the very top it was like oh my god but anyway every game is a dollar and it ended up costing me ten bucks for all of these and it really does add a, a major. Make it makes a major impact on my Dreamcast Dreamcast collection now. So I'm gonna just kind of slide the games over as I show them to you. So the first one is Alone in the Dark for the Dreamcast. This is in just these old GameStop replacement cases for some of the older generation games like Dreamcast PS1. I have a few that. GameStop you use use these little plastic cases. Um, anyway, for a dollar, wasn't wasn't gonna let that stay behind. I already have a copy of this. It's in a lot better shape than this, but anyway, just I just grabbed it. Um, Sega Tennis Two K Two, nothing to write home about, but. Um, I don't know. I, I think I made the mistake of thinking this was the other tennis game, like the virtual tennis, I think, which is a really decent game. I don't have that, but I just ended up grabbing it. I was I think I was in such like shock with seeing these games that like I second guessed that I had every one that I wanted because I did leave some behind. There were some sports games I just left. But um, Star Wars Jedi Power Battles is. <clears throat> A game I don't really know a whole lot about, but, you know, for a dollar, it was worth the gamble. It was a wrestling game, Royal Rumble. Uh, it's got Stone Cold and The Rock on it. I promise it'll get a lot better from here. At. Um, so all these games are definitely games I would seriously keep in my collection. Um, only maybe one of them I might get rid of. Um, but anyway, here is... Uh, first game, Sonic Shuffle. I've seen this before out 
on Ed store at game stores and stuff like that. Never had any major interest in buying it, but I know it was like kind of like a Mario Party knockoff. That was their Sega's attempt to try to compete. But yeah, a dollar. Uh Sonic Adventure, which I have a copy of this, but I don't have it complete like this. This is the not for resale version, and it's got the trial version of Sonic Adventure 2, so a dollar. This is the game that was on the top of the stack, and I've I've owned this game before. Um but it was Ill Bleed was on the very top. And I didn't I was looking up prices for some of these games and I, and this is not the most expensive one of the stack of games that I have here, which was shocking. I thought this was like one of the most expensive ones in the Dreamcast, but it's not. Um it's 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 hard to find, I think. But um yeah, I don't know. I don't think this game is really the type of game for me. It's a little weird. Uh, horror style game. Definitely not as good as like the Resident Evil games, but uh, definitely sold after by Dreamcast collectors. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, again, for a dollar. Uh, I'm, I was very shocked at the price of how some expensive these, some of these games are. You know, I'm very grateful to get them for a dollar because I probably would, never would have got them ever in my life. But yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. These three are the ones that are like the the, the crown jewels. This this game I'm going to show you is probably the my most the one that I'm most excited about having is Power Stone Two, and I almost broke down and bought Power Stone One because I know um, it's, it wasn't as expensive as this one. Um, I remember playing Power Stone One back in high school, but um, never got around to playing this. I, I'm I'm probably willing to bet that this there were fewer of these sold power stone one probably sold a little bit better probably the reason why this one's more expensive but um yeah definitely excited to get this for a dollar and i can't believe this was 1999 at one point all right another two games that are capcom games these are ridiculously i, I cannot believe how much these are going for now you know i was excited when i saw them this morning but i did not know they're going for this much um cannon spike for one dollar and i've seen gameplay of this i didn't realize it was like a it is it says on the back that it is a shooter it says high speed shooter pushes the limits of reflex and skill but it almost seems more like a twin stick shooter and it's interesting how how much capcom was willing to support the dreamcast and then the last and final game, which is incredibly expensive game. I guess a lot of people are willing to pay it, pay for this game. But for a dollar, I got Project Justice. So, again, somebody liked their Capcom games, um, which I appreciate them liking their Capcom games. Because I'm glad to add them to my collection. We'll put the with the better ones here i guess so yeah man i can't believe i got just even just these i think if i if i if someone was to were to spend a hundred dollars on all of these you were probably getting a pretty good deal um especially for like these four right there but yeah i am just i just was in shock when i when i got these this morning and I'm just so very grateful. I'm not the type of person to just totally resell these and make tons of profit. I'm definitely going to appreciate them. Definitely going to keep them for a long time and um, play them the way that they've been they are deserved to be played. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think. Um, it's just a matter of being lucky sometimes. And I think honestly, like if you aren't getting up. At six o'clock on Saturdays, trying to be out at yard sales by six thirty, seven o'clock. This stuff is gone by about eight or nine because people are too savvy to recognize that hey, this stuff this stuff could potentially be resellable. 
And um, that's just the reality of yard sailing. But anyway, let me know what you think later.